What's going on guys? It's the Dr. Shea here today. We got for you a super simple Easter egg guide on how to build the new Shredder Wonder Weapon. All the pistols have three parts, a battery, a souvenir item and a gem. The Shredder battery is found by first throwing a grenade in the log ride. After you've done this, make your way up to the coloured fountains where you can see the battery floating in the fountains. It moves around between the fountains pretty quickly, so make sure you grab it fast. Next is the souvenir part. You get this part by entering three red souvenir coins into the Kepler system souvenir machine. Lastly, you need to get the fire elemental upgrade on your gun. So to do this, you need to click square on this jar in the pack punch room. This will spawn a small UFO, which will begin circling the chromosphere. You then need to kill around 20 zombies with the chromosphere trap. After you get the correct amount of trap kills, the UFO will begin taking a larger circle route. At this point, you will need to buy an arcane core for your gun. It costs 300 tickets from these little pop-up stores. Using the gun on which you have the arcane core, you need to get another 20-ish kills underneath the circling UFO. You will see the souls going into the UFO if you are doing this correctly. After you get these kills, the UFO will drop a small fireball which you can add to your arcane core to upgrade your gun. From here, you will need to maneuver a Brutus boss so he is inside the crocodile trap as the jaws are shutting. If done correctly, this will smash the crocodile's teeth you will then need to buy the golden teeth from the arcade store. Add these to the crocodile trap by clicking square and it will reveal the four gem locations. All you need to do now is shoot the correct gem with your fire elemental gun and pick up the gem. You can now head down to the basement and build the Shredder Wonder Pistol. Unfortunately, it's a pretty average wonder weapon. It will absolutely slay groups of zombies on lower rounds, but... On round 20 plus, it only kills one zombie per shot. But it's still a cool weapon to have and not too hard to build. So I recommend you at least try it out. Anyway guys, I hope you learnt something new. And if you did, be sure to leave a like. The Doctor Show will be back with more Zombies in Spaceland videos in the future. So, we'll see you in the next one.